Greetings my lovelies and thank you for stopping by The Circle today. Today's video is a question that I've seen kind of floating a lot around there in the interwebs, being on forums, discord, writer talk, you name it. People are always asking the question, should I make my story a series? Oh my god, my story's not big enough to make a series. Am I doing something wrong? Do I need to add something more? Chillax, my peeps. I'm here to help you out. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Whether or not your story is enough to make one book, two books, three books, or more, really kind of should happen in the early planning stages of your book. Even our pantsers, as much as we love you, y'all still do a tiny smidge of planning. At least enough to understand that your story may go on more than one book. The first type of story that we have is a standalone story. This is a story that just begins and ends in one book. It stands alone by itself. Now in a series, you can have books that stand alone or you can have books that kind of bleed into each other. Either way is perfectly fine. I personally do a bit, a bit of both. For some books, they have a very clear beginning, middle, end. They're all their standalone stories, but they stack up with each other to create, tell an overall story. Next, we have what is called a duality. This is just two books. Think of Crooked Kingdom, Six of Crows, and my newest project, which is going to be a duality. These are books that are told in two-parters. Sometimes they end in a cliffhanger that leads on into the next book, but overall it's a rather large story that's just easier broken up into two pieces. Next, we have probably the most common format for storytelling, and that is the trilogy. Lord of the Rings is a trilogy. Uh, the Archive of the Unwritten is a trilogy. And there are the Grishaverse is a trilogy. There are literally hundreds and thousands of them. My first, my first group of books that I wrote was The Lost Guardian, and it was a trilogy. It is very, very easy. It's a very simple format to begin. Your first book is like your first act, your second book is like your second act, and your third book is a climax of the overall story. So that's a lot of information. You're still trying to figure out, is my story enough? Well, there's just kind of a couple of questions that you need to ask yourself. Question number one, do you have the fortitude to write a series? That's a really big one because writing a series means laying groundwork within multiple books for things that are gonna pay off maybe in two books down the road. It's going to be trying to interweave stories so that they flow cohesively all together. Meeting new people, why are we meeting them, where are we going? Do you have it in you to hold all of that information in a clear and concise way and writing a cohesive, very long, very drawn out story without getting burnt out? That's the ticker. For me, my cutoff is three. I start to write more than three books. By the end of the, the end of the third book, I am ready to move on to another project. That's why I'm taking a break with A Tale Blade in Darkness and doing one book of my duality to kind of cleanse my palette. But that's just me. However, I do have tools that allow me to kind of be a series bible so that I can keep track of characters, who they were, little quirks and things like that. If you don't have that type of dedication, I don't recommend you writing a series. Let yourself kind of maybe warm up to it a little bit, kind of get better at writing until you feel comfortable enough to do so. But if you like, I don't know if I can do that, don't do it. Question two, what is your overall story? Even though you are a planter, pantser and you like to write by the seat of your pants, typically you kind of have an idea of where your story is going to go. So what is your overall story? Does it have just kind of one beginning, middle, and end? Or can you kind of stop in multiple places and expand upon that? If you don't really have it, and you, those multiple stopping points that could serve as endings or points for other books, maybe your story is better off as a duality or a standalone. Which really kind of leads us right into question three, which is, is your story beefy enough? Do you have enough to write more than one book? When I was planning The Lost Guardian, and Lost Guardian, originally it was going to be four books, but I realized that two of the points really didn't provide enough content that would service a full-length novel, which is 50,000 plus when the word count. So I decided to take those and smash it together. And with The Serpent's Coils, 
being an indie publisher, I kind of am limited to the size of my word count and how much I can afford. And I realized I was reaching that with the story still kind of, um, whoops, too much <laughs> to be told in that point. So I decided to split it. That meant that I had to create a whole bunch of other content that I had not intended on creating to beef up the second book, but I think I'm better for it because character development, world building, all my fun stuff. The reason why I brought up those two points is because you can either take two random points that you had and smush them together to make one thing that can make a whole book, whether you're making an addition or a standalone altogether, or you can choose to go ahead and follow and split but then know that you're going to have to make more to flesh out the little odds and ends that didn't quote, that you didn't quite have to begin with. Like I stated earlier, writing a series is dedication. Hell, writing more than one book is a dedication. You have to think of not only the you know, one book, but two or three or however many you're planning to do. And that is a lot of work. It's a hell of a lot of work just to do one book, let alone a lot of these. So anyone who has ever written more than one book in a single storyline, hats off to you. You're amazing. That's all that I have time for you. That's all that I have time for you guys today. Just a short little quick video. As I said, I'm still kind of getting back into the swing of things after being a near zombie for about 10 months. Don't forget to head on over to my shop. You can find it on TikTok so you can get signed copies of my books in The Serpent's Coils, The Hint Temple, and The Last Light, along with a bunch of other cool merch like character inspired stickers and candles, bookmarks, and a colorized map. If you want to see what else I'm doing, be sure to check out my website down here below. And that has links to all of my socials and my new newsletter that you can sign up for to be part of the Write With Me series where you and I write a fantasy story together. Kind of like a choose your own adventure style thing. I love those stories and they really should make a comeback in all honesty. So I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your week and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!